I just wanted some more clarity on some of this. The lenders planning on credit loss prevention help us understand how the banks are positioning themselves. Historically, it's only when rates start to drop that defaults start to increase dramatically. That doesn't make any sense. If rates are dropping, then defaults should be decreasing. When does the Bank of Canada drop rates? It's only because they feel like they've made enough economic impact for people to feel pain, to say, we're going to take the pain off a little bit, we're going to drop rates. But they've done so much in the negative that for the first 18 months of this rate hike that we've experienced by the time they actually turned the dial and said, okay, let's start going the other way. It's only then that the consumers out there have been living off their savings, trying to transfer credit card balances across. And they've just done every trick in the book to stay afloat. They finally reach a point where they run out of time, they run out of money. We can't make the payment on that credit card and the car payments start to slip and mortgage defaults do start to increase. So we have noticed a small increase in mortgage defaults. And it's because the rate drops that just happened won't actually be really felt inside households for several more months. Whereas what people are feeling are due to the rate increases that we experienced 12 months ago. We're in this really weird stage where things are getting better, but the damage is already done. We're gonna probably see a little bit more pain even though interest rates are dropping. This is why banks have been putting aside more insurances for these credit defaults.